Aloha. Good evening. This is Andrew Lowe live out of Flagstaff, Arizona, here to Women's Productions on Facebook Live. Aloha and welcome um, to tonight's updates. I, I guess I, I didn't realize that I, it's been a while since, since I've done my last update. It's, it's actually been about a month, but that's the best point. So anyhow, um, yeah, a, lot, a lot's been happening for the last a uh, week and a half or so, um, two weeks at least, which is very befitting because, um, let me see, what's today's date, the 15th, I believe, yep, um, Thursday, last Thursday, Ur uh, Uranus went directly into Taurus. Which sent a lot of telephone stuff going on, um, going into that, uh, Uranus going from Aries into Taurus and, um, and, and causing all kinds of stuff. There's the New Zealand attack, 49 people being killed at, at, at two different mosques, which were kind of, it's, you know, kind of crazy. Just a lot of crazy stuff going on. People, you know, uh, I don't know if, if he was a white supremacist uh, individual or not. Um, I don't know that I, I've come across where it, it, it identified this person as being a white supremacist person, um, though it, it, it's pointing in that direction, and um, and people are, are upset that that um, President Trump is is actually encouraging that kind of behavior and activity. Um, I don't know how true that is, but, um, you know, if he is, then, then obviously he needs to stop because that's, that's not, not cool, proper political etiquette, per period, at all. It's not, it's not cool at all. So anyhow, um, but his, his daughter, Ivanka, um, condemned the attack on Twitter and, that she was praying for the families of each victim. So with that in mind, I think it's a good idea that we just take a moment. Uh, Aloha, Dar. Um, hope you're doing well. I think it's we take. I, I think it's a, a really good idea we, that we take a moment and and just just send out some love, light, and healing to these people, um, and, and and even to the. To the to the um, perpetrator who obviously needs healing, or he would he wouldn't be doing that to begin with, right? So um, so let's. I think we should just go ahead and take a moment right now, and and then uh, we'll we'll finish up and go from there. But just to go go into a moment of silence, and then um, again send out some love, light, prayers, healing to these people, and then uh, we'll go from there. So anyhow, um, we're just going to go from there. Um, and again, I, you know, uh, I, I think Uranus going from Aries into Taurus, that, that shift, and that's, that's how sensitive this energy can be. People don't understand. And, you know, you, you have a, a major planet, Sagittarius or, or Mars or whatever, and, and you know, obviously they're, big, they're bigger than your truck and they're bigger than your – your country or whatever, and um, they they shift from one energy to another, and that automatically sends out a domino effect type of thing, 
uh, shifting energies um, th throughout the, the planet Earth, or, you know, the whole solar system, the, the planet Earth, and and people are affected, affected, um, you know, especially people that are sensitive to the energies for whatever reasons. Then uh, they they are affected by by this, and and who knows all the different things that can happen. So so uh, that's that's just one of them. Uh, I mean, this this attack uh, is obviously uh, something that that uh, in line in alignment with this whole shift of of, of energies from Uranus to uh, Uranus going into uh, from Aries into into Taurus. So and so that's going to be a, a seven year itch that we're going to be going through. As a whole, um, uh, Aloha com Community, I think, uh, we're, we're going to be going for a, 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 this. I don't know if you've heard of the seven year itch, but um, the, the actually started last year of last May uh, when Uranus went into Taurus, then originally, initially, and then, um, and then it went retrograde, it went back into our Aries, and then, and then finally, uh, just this week. Um, it went. It went back into into uh, last Thursday. It went back into Taurus again. It, w it went. Uh, it was in, in Aries from having gone retrograde, and now it's 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 uh, going into Taurus. And now we're we're going to be going into a seven year itch for seven years. A year and this is going to be in Taurus for the most part, and so that's going to be an energy that people are going to want to deal with. That stubbornness, um, grounding, working with the earth, anything that has to do with physical. Stuff, uh, minds. I don't know all the different things that that are going to occur that are going to we are going to be dealing with within the next seven years, but it's going to have to do with Taurus energy, uh, Uranus and Taurus energy. So, so just be aware, keep that in the back of your mind, and and, and instead of getting into an argument with somebody down the road, you know, uh, road rage or whatever, uh, you know, I want to think about it and just just not 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 even bother. Uh, because it, it could be a lot worse of a situation than, than you might think it might be. So anyhow, um, now, um, and, and I don't know um, how uh, that, that Uranus and Taurus is affecting this, but uh, Lori Laughlin and Felicity Huffman and, uh, and several of, of, you know, almost, uh, I think, 50, 50 people or so caught up in this whole uh, scandal with, with college of bribery uh, going on, uh, this whole scheme, and you know, I don't know if that's part of that or not, but but it, it's very possible. Uh, it just it just happened within the last week or so. So uh, again, the, 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 these energies can be highly influential when they're shifting uh, a week or two weeks, a month, uh, depending on the size of the uh, energy shift. Uh, it could it could it could uh, it be influential influential. Uh, three, four, six months in advance, uh, and, and then afterwards, thereafter, uh, it could be uh, influential afterwards, six months, eight, eight months, and uh, afterwards as well. So, so um, if, if you understand the energies and work with them, then you can make them work for you instead of against you. And uh, obviously, that's not what, what's happening. Again, with the Boeing uh, 737 Max 8 plane. Um, um, uh, uh, what was in Africa? This plane crash. So um, uh, that's that's set, typically sanitary stuff. I I don't know. Let me let me look at this stuff. It's usually uh, Sagittarius energy that involves all that. Um, let me see. March and today is the fifteenth. So um, let me see. Uh, Neptune and Pisces. That could be uh, that's paranormal energy. That's Piscean energy. That could be a possibility that's affecting that. Uh, Pluto and Capricorn. Um, oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Sure enough. Uh, Jupiter in Sagittarius. Jupiter went into Sagittarius uh, a few weeks ago, and um, Several weeks ago, back in November of last year, and so now it's almost in in, in the height of its energy. So there's still stuff that's coming coming down the pike that has to do with planes and transportation. Um, it, it's actually meant to be healing, uh, believe it or not, uh, more so than not. And so, um, but but 
uh, April, April, let me see, April 10th, Jupiter is going to go retrograde. So it's, it's almost at, the, at its peak, in, um, well, or actually, it, it did peak out um, last, let me see, uh, peaked out in January. It was, uh, Jupiter was in the middle of its energy in, in January. And then, uh, and, and then, uh, now it's, it, it's, um, it's 18 degrees, um, Jupiter in, 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 um, in, in, well, no, no, I take it back. 23 degrees, um, Jupiter in Sagittarius. So, um, at the end, at the end of, um, well, at the beginning of April, the second week in April, April 10th, it's going to go retrograde. So it's going to start to go backwards. So that's interesting to see what's going to happen. Uh, May, June, July, um, and August, Jupiter is going to be retrograde. So that's going to put put the halt on a lot of energy going on with with, with Sagittarius. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Uh, again, with with uh, health, with hospitals, transportation, uh, cultures. Other cultures, um, there's going to be some some uh, some friction, I believe, that's going to go on with healing uh, this stuff. And then um, August 11th, Jupiter is going to go back. He's going to go direct again, so things are going to calm down and 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 be a lot smoother thereafter. But but it, it's we're going to be going through some friction with, with Jupiter in, in Sagittarius for about three months there now, almost three months. So that's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. So anyhow, um, business is going to affect business. I don't know. Maybe maybe we're going to go into a um, um, uh, crash, uh, stock market crash. It's already started, I believe. So uh, uh, and I don't know how how much how, how much worse it's going to get, but we'll see what happens. So. Um, and then Easter's coming up. Uh, I believe Easter is uh, going to be um, is going to be do, 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 do. Let's see, April. Yeah, April twenty first uh, is going to be Easter, and then we sack. Um, I have to I have to look this up. We sack now. It, it, there's here, uh, and, and I'll be doing a, a a meditation for for the Easter day, um, which again, which is in the April 21st, probably from around 2 to 4 p.m. And then um, I believe May, you see the the full moon in Taurus, uh, which is okay. There's Taurus and the full moon. Is 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 is, 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 is the eighteenth of May? The eighteenth of May. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I don't give you any wrong information. Yeah, the the eighteenth of May. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. The eighteenth of May, which is going to be a Saturday, is going to be the WESAC day. Uh, it's going to be a very powerful meditation, uh, full moon, uh, the most powerful one, uh, throughout the year. So, um, so, um, I'll be doing a meditation on that day, probably from 2 to 4 p.m. And you can, you can, uh, jump in on that if you want and capture some energy, some blessing energy and so forth by the Buddha and so forth. So now, um, anyhow, the, um, I just reformatted my computer. So I don't know if that had, if Jupiter had, and, and Sagittarius had anything to do with that possibly. I think it had to do with, uh, Pluto and Capricorn, um, Capricorn. Capricorn affects, uh, politics, money, uh, technology, uh, moving mountains and so forth. So I, somehow or another, I managed to, to, I've been trying to reformat this computer for, for like, I don't know, several, several weeks, several months. And finally, I don't know how I figured it out, but I figured it out and I reformatted my computer and, but that, that also meant I had to be, 
uh, re, um, re, um, uh, download my, all, all my applications and my, uh, all my Word, uh, Word, um, Microsoft Word, um, stuff and so forth. So it took a little while for, for me to, to finally get myself organized with that. So anyhow, um, and of course I've been watching a number of movies, um, you know, that it, with my health, the way it's going, I, I've, been, I've been having to deal with that. And so it's not uh, the best it can, it can be, but, uh, or that it has been, but, but I'm working with it. And um, I think slowly but surely, I think, I think it's making, I'm making my comeback, but, but it, it's taking some time. I'm, wor I'm working on developing a hypnosis show. I'm working on developing um, a whole program uh, designed to be like a revival, like a humanity revival program to inspire people, you know, provide, you know, provide people with hope and, and just, just to, 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 um, to focus, help people focus on, on themselves and getting themselves up and going. Right now, with all the stuff going on, and there's a lot of stuff going on, um, they're, they're, um, there, there's, there's really, uh, you know, people. I think a lot of people are, 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 are just very, very. Um, uh, I, I don't want to say depressed. Maybe depressed is a good word, but uh, the, there, uh, a lot of people are just really, really um, disappointed. I think that's a good word. Uh, so anyhow, if you noticed on my webs on on my on Facebook and my social media stuff, I put some information about um, about um, the Son of God being back, uh, and I forgot to put that in um, in, in the title. But Son of God um, is back, um, as far as I understand and know. And the reason that I understand and know that is because years ago. I, I encountered him. I was, um, I was just getting out of the Air Force. I, um, I was with these two women. Uh, they were both bankers, which was unusual because I don't, I don't usually go out with, uh, banker women. That's the better point. Or banker men, you know, for that, for that matter, I don't hang out with those people, but it was an unusual situation and we were, Sitting in the back of my car talking, and this this guy he looked like a Spaniard with with a golden hair, a brilliant blue eyes. Uh, you know, I look up, and he says the Christ will appear within ten ten years. This is back in 1985, you know, mind you. And so I'm like, you know, I'm laughing. I look down, look look back up. I'm laughing. How who is this guy? And this all takes place within like. Ten seconds or something like that, and all of a sudden he disappears. Uh, I didn't understand that. Uh, that that's what what happened. So um, I look back up and he's gone. And there's nowhere he can just run and hide that quickly. And and I look up and he's gone. And to this day I, I have never talked to these two women about what they experienced. I, you know, it was like my the logic of my mindset. Couldn't handle that, and and I just forgot all that whole situation that took place for uh, for about five years, and then I was doing transmission meditation in Dallas, Texas, and this this guy of uh, uh, this uh, group member came in and he goes, you wouldn't believe what happened. Um, a friend of a friend picked up a hitchhiker in Dallas, and he says the Christ will appear in, in, in within five years, and then he disappears and they crash, you know. And nobody got hurt or anything, but but there was a police report made out of it, and um, so and and all of a sudden that just triggered the whole situation that took place back in 1985 in Victorville, California. Victorville, California. We're at, on this riverbed. We're partying. We're we're not drunk, and uh, we're drinking wine coolers and we're laughing and and talking. And this guy walks up to us. The Christ will appear within 10 years. And literally, he disappears. And so later, I found out that that Maitreya Buddha was doing this, and 
they were there was all, all several other uh, people that were experiencing the, the almost the exact same thing or similar thing, and um, you know he would disappear and, and he's gone. So um, so that's why I say uh, I, I I'm I'm, I'm um, endorsing those those videos that information that I put on Facebook my social media uh, because I I. I I, I have a personal experience with that, with all that, and I don't think that that whole situation could have just happened out of the blue and some, you know, this guy just disappeared. I, I don't know, you know, I don't know how we how we did that um, teleportation. I'm assuming, but but um, that was very very out of this world, and and. Um, I got involved with uh, ben, Benjamin Krim and all those uh, transmission meditation groups, and and um, and it was just and I and I I had to think about it. You know, when I got involved with these groups, and I um, I learned about all this stuff about Maitreya and Sai Baba, and the booty and all this stuff, the miracle water, heating water in Tecolote in Mexico, and and um, in India and Frankfurt, Germany. There's some here in Blackstaff. Uh, there's some in Phoenix. Um, I don't know where else, but you know, Mar I believe Maryland um, uh, and other places. But you know, I had to think about this. I had to mull it over, and, I, and you know, whoa, 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 you know, it, whoa, whoa, this is crazy. This is crazy stuff. And I, I had to think about it, and 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 chew on it, and chew on it. And finally, um, especially after this guy, group members came in and said, hey, you wouldn't believe what happened, blah, blah, blah. People crash and who we'll never pick up a hitchhiker. Th then that convinced me. I, and I remembered all that. I recalled all that, that whole situation in Victorville, California. And I said, okay, I, 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 I remembered that whole personal experience. And there was no doubt in my mind that 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 um, whole experience was, it was delusional or or whatever. I, yeah, I know I know it wasn't crazy stuff. Uh, it had to have been real because otherwise I would never have heard him to begin with, and I would never would have seen this guy. And apparently, I, I did. I wrote a letter to Benjamin Krim and in Share International magazine about that whole situation. And I don't know that he ever answered my, my question because I never got a, a, a letter back. And but the, uh, at the same time, uh, when I wrote this letter, he started a, a new um, what was it? A, a, a new section in his magazine where he answered questions that people uh, a, a, asked in, in his magazine. So. I don't know that he ever answered my question in his magazine because I've never seen it, but I haven't read all the magazines, so I don't know. So, um, you know, it's like that. So, anyhow, that's why I put those, those, um, those, uh, that information on, on social media about, uh, Maitreya Buddha, this, and, and apparently Maitreya Buddha has already given an interview, probably on CNN is my guess. He, uh, he's a shapeshifter. Literally, he's a shapeshifter. He he um he didn't describe himself or identify himself as Maitreya Buddha. He it was somebody else. My uh, Benjamin Krim um, uh, announced that that he had done this interview, uh, and he he probably knows. Well, he, Benjamin Krim has passed since then, but but uh, uh, so uh, a couple of years ago or so. But uh, anyhow. Um, he announced the, the the interview that had taken place, and apparently Maitreya Buddha is going to be doing more and more interviews um, further down the road. Uh, I don't know. May, maybe he already has done some more interviews. I, it, it's because nobody knows who he is, who this person is. He's shape shifting into this person and does his interview. Uh, or millions of people watch the interview, and and nobody knows knows that it's Maitreya Buddha. So it's like that, right? So. It's like it's like a movie, right? Like one of those sci-fi movies type of things. So, anyhow, um, so and right now it, it's probably good timing 
for him to start doing these interviews. In fact, uh, I, I, I request, Andrew Loha, myself, and I request uh, Maitreya Buddha that you come forward now and, and start doing these interviews, like right away, like, like, like yesterday. Thank you very much. And, um, and I, I, I request, we request that you uh, start um, assisting us because this planet, this, 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 the politics, the tax, the, all the stuff going on. Oh my God, people, I think people are just, I, I, I think are so stressed out that they can't, I think there's very few people that can handle all the crap that's going on on this planet right now. And there's so much of it, so much of it. And um, w when Maitreya comes out, and it starts doing these interviews, there are going to be other masters that are going to follow suit, I believe, and, and start working with us. There's going to be a lot of healing taking place, a lot of miracles and magic going on. And, and that's why I said, oh, that's why I say March 2023, it's going to be like a huge party. I believe it's, it's going to be, there's going to be some major stuff. And may, and that may be the day of reckoning, as people call it, the Christians call it. But, the day of declaration, as the the my, uh, Benjamin Krim people call it, um, it may be that may be, take place in March 2023 when the big big D Day happens. But it, it's it's not. I don't believe it's going to be some kind of a you know a sadness and guilt trips and 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 necessarily violence uh, that's going to be happening. I think it's going to be a big celebration, a big party, uh, and that finally. We're moving forward as a whole because um, there's been so much backlash, so much uh, anger, so much violence, so much stuff going on, and and nobody, and you know, as as these people from from the college scandal are are, are noticing, uh, uh, and and the and the Me Too people are noticing, and uh, you know, nobody can get away with wrong actions. Uh, it, you know, it don't matter how rich or poor you are anymore. Nobody can get away with any, any wrongdoings anymore. That's what's happening. And that's what's gonna need, that's what needs to happen. That's when it needs to take place. So that way, when Maitreya and Jesus and all these beings come forward, uh, they will know that, that humanity is ready, ready to grow up. Ready to to um, to get the their driver's license and to going into space. Uh, that humanity is ready to to get along and be one. And and officially, uh, we're going to be in uh, the, completely in the age of Aquarius around 2025, which is when all this uh, the peaceful accords will be taking place. And people people on this planet are going are are going to be getting along. They're, they're not going to have any choice because there'll be so much love and so much, so much uh, stuff that that'll be straightened out. I believe there's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff that's going to be straightened out, and people are going to feel a lot more comfortable. They're not going to be PTSD anymore. There's so many people on this planet that are PTSD, and, and, and you know if you've ever been if you've ever been abused even once, even once for a, for a second. You got PTSD. You're prone to PTSD. It doesn't matter. There's different levels. There's very deep levels of PTSD, and there's very minute levels. You know, everyday, uh, daily, daily type of activity, type, type of thing that that you would never know you got PTSD uh, because because you you know it's not that noticeable and it's and it's mild and and, and it's, it's it's manageable. But there's a you know there's a lot of people out there right now with Heavy PTSD. I mean, the people that uh, that were in the fires in California, uh, the people in in the snow in the East Coast. Oh my God! It, it, it the list goes on. You know, it, it, it's all happening. It's all happened already. All the stuff in the Bible. It, it, we're pretty much done with it. I think the Bible is officially a his, history book now, for the most part. It actually is. Um, and maybe there's a couple of details that still need to be uh, cleared up and resolved, but but for the most part, the Bible is nothing more than just a history book, and that's it. Period. So can't we all just get along, right? Why not? 
it, 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 it's time to move on. It's, not, it's time to grow up. It's time to move forward. There's, there's, there's um, no other way. Because otherwise, we're, we're going to kill ourselves. We almost did back in 1962 with uh, Pig, uh, Pig Bay, Bay of Pig um, uh, incident. Came very close to killing ourselves. Do we really need that? Do we really want that? Are we really that stupid? Really? That would be really stupid for us to kill ourselves. Why? Why would we would we want to do that? And not give our our kids, our grandkids, and all the other other kids that are coming forward still a chance to, to do have their say and move and do their thing. And believe you me. The kids that are coming forward, oh my God, the stuff they're going to be doing is going to be so much more than we're doing right now. I guarantee you, 100%, just like Jesus said, you'll do more than I have done. You'll do a lot more than I have done. That's what's going to happen. The stuff that's going to, we're going to be doing, uh, that they're going to be doing in, in the future, in the next hundred years even. It's going to be mind-boggling. It's going to be blow you away. It's going to be mind-boggling. It's going to be out of this world. So anyhow, um, so there was there was a, a number of of movies that I watched, and and I don't really like to watch television series, but I watched a couple of that I thought were interesting. Um, the Umbrella Academy, that was um, really. Um, a lot of paranormal stuff going, and the paranormal is going to be out of this world coming up. Uh, that you know, w within the next several years, uh, and this year is going to be a big year for it. The the paranormal this year activity is going to be out of this world. You're going to see what I'm talking about. The Umbrella Ca Academy that they came out this year. That's that's a prime example, confirming ex exactly what I'm saying right now. Uh, just, just uh, some. It's kind of like um, the X Men type of movie or television series, but but it, it's a little bit different. And um, and uh, you know, there's there's a, a, a few a couple of cheesy parts in there, but for the most part, it was interesting and it held. You know, if something isn't being of service or creative or productive or uh, you know, interest, you know, it's just that's just not interesting. I I don't bother. I want one show is enough, and then I, I move on to the next one. But or one of them, if the movie, uh, and there's usually I'll, I I can tolerate most movies till the end, if, even if they're, sh they're shitty movies. But but um most of, most for the most part, uh, if if there's a movie that that's really lame, oh man, if I I don't if I if I don't watch a movie all the way through, you know it's pretty pretty lame. I don't even bother. So anyhow, um. The Umbrella Academy, the, and then there was the uh, the boy who harnessed the wind about this this kid. It, it was based on a true story. Um, the kid who who creates a a, um, a wheel, a, a windmill um, out in Africa that actually, that helps his family, helps helps uh, create a, a water supply for for their um, for their crops and all kinds of stuff. So it was really interesting. This kid was really smart too. I mean, and you know, there's geniuses all over the world. I mean, you know, hands down. And and people think, oh no, only in the United States are geniuses. No, they're everywhere, everywhere. And and you know, there's there's angels, there's masters, there's saints that are being born even now probably all over the world. And it don't matter where 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 they 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 are born. They're gonna do what they're gonna do no matter what. So anyhow, um, and and that and that and that's just it. They're here for a purpose to do stuff to help humanity move forward and move on and and grow up and so forth. So anyhow, um, there is Mr. Church with Eddie Murphy. Um, that if you haven't watched that movie, I, I believe I watched it with um Eddie Murphy, Britt Robertson, Natasha Mc uh, McElhone. Um, it was came out a few years ago, three years ago, but but it was uh, it was a good movie. Um, very.
very inspirational, um, very kind and very compassionate. Uh, the compassion. So it was interesting to hear if you haven't watched that movie. Train wreck. Now, a few weeks ago, what, two or three weeks ago, whatever, um, the, the, you know, there was a lot of snow here and the internet here was really, really sucked. It really sucked the dog. I couldn't get on at all for anything. So I had to watch some of my own movies and Train wreck is actually one of them. Uh, it came out about, what was it? In, um, 2015 with Amy Schumer, Brie Larson, Bill Hader, uh, LeBron James, and John Cena. Um, that was a very interesting movie. Uh, you know, um, you know, the daddy's little girl, and and she's not a little girl anymore. She's a she's a handful, but that's exactly the point. So anyhow, um, the um, you know, Amy Schumer learns to to um to connect she's she's not good with her relationships and finally this guy pins her down bill hater and um and, and and makes her connect with herself uh and and, and really look at herself and, and see what's going on you know uh, the dad dies and all, all, all the stuff happens so that was an uh, interesting movie um, and a good one having to do with relationships pitch perfect three I just can't. I just can't get enough of those Pittsburgh movies. Uh, with uh, w one of the things that I want to do is 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 put together or have have an acapella group uh, do do a whole uh, stint um, on with some of the stuff that I want to do of uh, the hypnosis show. Uh, I want to do a hypnosis show like like you know Friday Saturday type of thing, and um, and then, you know be a comedy type of thing. And then uh, do some healing, uh, some Reiki and stuff for, for people during the weekend. And then do an acapella, um, you know, a presentation where these, these kids will sing just some magical music that really will inspire people. Again, this is I, I want to do like like a revival, humanity revival type of program, right? Um, the Ascension Experts uh, is, is the name of the hypnosis show. And then I'm, I'm looking at doing a radio show, uh, the, the Ascension Experts as well. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm, I'm just, I'm just plugging away little by little. And if it happens, fine. If it doesn't, well, then that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So that's just as well. So anyhow, uh, Mike and uh, Dave, I uh, need wedding dates. <laughs> that, that, was, that, if you want some laughs, oh my God, that, that's out of this world. That's, that's a good, uh, good, um, Movie for a laugh. Um, what's in it? And it came out what back in um, uh, 2016. Years, Anna Kendrick, Aubrey Plaza, Zach Efron, and Adam Devine. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole oh my god slapstick type of comedy, but but it's 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 stupid enough to be really funny. So so it's it's, good. it's funny. And yeah, American uh, Pie, Beta House. Um, there was actually two of them, the American Pie, uh, the, the love, book of love, which I thought was cheesy and, uh, um, almost boring. And, but this one, American Pie Beta House, they have this, this whole competition going on. And one of the, one of the little nephews or something, go, uh, it becomes a beta and, and he goes through all this stuff. And, and it's so, so and that was, it was, uh, interesting to see how, how frats and sorority, mostly frats, click. But they click it. Baywatch. If you haven't watched Baywatch, uh, with um, back in 2017, Dwayne Johnson, Zac Efron, Priyanka Chopra, Alexandra Daddario, uh, Kelly Robot, uh, John Bass, uh, Lifenish, Adara. Um, you know, it's life. It's part of life. Um, and but they they get a little bit more involved than just doing their 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 um their duties as a lifeguard and um they they uncover all this drug smuggling and stuff and so it gets it gets pretty intense so. uh as good as it gets oh my god <laughs> oh my god uh what's his name um Jack Nicholson and and, and uh Helen Hunt 
Not, it's an old movie, uh, 1997, but it's a classic. Oh my God, Jack Nicholson, <laughs> that, that dude. He just, he just, uh, he just uh, turns everything inside out, man. Oh my God, that guy is a riot. The best besides the worst. Now, um, at the end, Helen Hunt and Jack Nich Nicholson actually get together. I, I. I, I find that hard to believe, even even as uh, characters that they play, uh, that 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 would happen. But but you know that's the way the movie is. So that it is what it is. So but, but it was it was it took a lot to get up to that point, and uh, that's what really made it so funny. Uh, music and lyrics. Oh, what's his name? Um, music and lyrics. Oh, that's right. Drew Barrymore and Hugh Grant. Uh, that's an older movie, two, uh, 2017 or 2007. Uh, but and, but Hugh Grant does uh, does a lot of good movies. He does a lot, most or all the stuff that he does um, is pretty hilarious. And um, he's just got this this character, this this um, how would you say this mannerism, I guess. That's just so nonchalant and but funny, you know. And so anyhow, um, that that was especially if you get to get into music, that's a good movie, a movie to watch. But that's different. Apollo thirteen. Oh, uh, I, I believe that was based on a true story. If I remember, Tom Hanks. Um, and, and that's no, another old old movie, nineteen ninety five. As good as it gets was 1997, uh, 1995, Apollo 13, Tom Hanks, Bill Paxton, Kevin Bacon, Ed Harris, Gary Sinise. Um, you know, that was an intense movie. Wow. Put your life, a, a life on the line and say, oh, I'll see you later. I'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, I'm going to space. I'm going to go to the moon. Oh, okay. Sure. And then, and, and and they went on April 13th. Uh, I can't remember. All these 13s were involved, and that that mission just just was oh my god, doomed from the beginning to begin with. And so it was just it was just really intense movie. Um, and so and 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 that's just it. The the space program it, it, it's um, being developed by the private sector now, and not just the the government sector. And it, it, it's going to be huge. The space program is going to be big, huge. It's going to be huge. Um, apparently, there's already uh, people living on on the other side of the moon, on the other side of Mars. There's a whole whole community communities out there, uh, people living there, and, uh, and and you know humanity doesn't even know it, know it, but that's the best one. So um, so it'll be a matter of time. Before humanity catches up, and we'll 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 be also um, going out there and and living, uh, taking vacations, and that's what I predicted lot years ago. Uh, people are going to have to take vacations out there to, in order for it to to afford the space program, even in the private se with the private sector. So um, so that's how uh, we're going to be able to afford to go to space. Uh, even you can, can will be able to afford to go to space eventually in time. So that I, you know, that's besides the point. Uh, our idiot brother. Oh my God, <laughs> that guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Paul Rudd. Um, Elizabeth Banks. Uh, Zoe. Uh, Zoe. Uh, Zoe De De Chanel. Uh, that was a very interesting um, movie where this guy gets into all this trouble. And he, but he turns the tables around, and and, and you know they they make it seem like he's the, the the problem, but then they find out that all these other people have their own problems. So so um um so he ends up being the counselor for for his sisters in the movie, and then and um, anyhow it, it's a in, interesting and funny movie if you want something to to you know just just um, just to watch now. Wet American, wet hot American summer. That's an old movie. Uh, well, 2001, not too old. Uh, Paul, again, Paul uh, Paul Rudd again. 
Elizabeth Banks, Bradley Cooper, Marguerite Moreau. Now, this was a very interesting movie. It was kind of cheesy in a way, for the most part. Um, but it was interesting that they, they depicted Bradley Cooper as being gay. And they act, and they actually, he actually does a whole scene where he's having sex with some guy in this movie. So, um, uh, that was very interesting to see that. I, I, I would never know, I've known if, 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 if I, I hadn't seen this movie because, you know, I, I don't think I've heard anybody talk about that, that situation. You know, you, you look at this movie, A Star is Born, and, and then you look at that movie, uh, Wet Hot American Summer, and wow, that's pretty, pretty outlandish. I mean, it's wild. I would never have thought, um, uh, Bradley Cooper to be playing a gay part in a movie, but that's besides the point. So, anyhow, if, if you've ever been camping, uh, you know, for school or, or, you know, out, out, you know, church camp or whatever that, and, and you know, that, that kind of re, uh, takes you back, a blast takes you, uh, back into the past. Uh, and, and it can, and it can be a, a blast, but that, again, that movie is kind of cheesy, but it was interesting to see all these, uh, these actors, uh, from, from way, uh, you know, in this movie, way back then, and and this it was just interesting to see to note how the characters were, how the, you know how they played out, all the stuff that was kind of interesting. Anyhow, um, there were some other movies. Um, uh, Perry Pilby was kind of interesting. Uh, 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 prodigy, you know, trying to make make it in life, which is kind of a, a interesting satire because you know. They, 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 they make life happen, you know, prodigy. But this person, Candy, has a hard time living, living a regular life, like, like a normal person. Because she's, she's reading 17 books every day and all this other stuff or every week or whatever, but, but, but that's the best one. Now, Yucatan was a, a boat. Now, if you haven't been on a boat, um, and been a, a, you know, one of those vacation things, that's a good movie to watch to give you kind of an idea. Of, of what that lifestyle is like. Uh, it, it was kind of cheesy, but, but, um, there's some cheesy parts in it, but it was interesting too, just to see that lifestyle. Again, American Pie, The Book of Love, that was kind of lame. Click with, with, um, with, 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 oh, uh, Kate Be Bacon, uh, Beckinsale, Adam Sandler, Christopher Walken, uh, 2006, about, but you know that's kind of like a sci-fi type of movie. Uh, you, you, you know, you have a remote, and then all of a sudden the remote con controls your life. But isn't that true? You know, a lot of people they they get a remote, and all of a sudden the remote is 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 uh, more important than the keys to your car, right? Crazy, crazy. Uh, Northern Rescue was a TV series. Um, I didn't watch all of them yet. William Holden and, and some other people. Um, that actually came out this year, 2019. But um, I don't know. They 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 have. A, I think they have an an interesting storyline. But the direct, you know, some of the stuff that they present, uh, it's cheesy. They had like this fire scene. Oh my God, how cheesy was that? I, it, when when it gets to that, you know, something like that, it, uh, I just I, I find it hard to go watch that that, that show anymore. But Paddleton, you know, about this guy. Uh, now it's interesting. Paddleton, it's, it's interesting that that I, and I don't know how true it is that it's it, it's legal to commit suicide in America. Um, that you take these pills and they they. You know, they prescribe you these pills, and then you take them all at once, and then you're done. So it's kind of like Switzerland. And um, I'm not sure that that's true. Uh, it's, I'm assuming that it is, uh, but it's legally um, it's legal to commit suicide um, in, in the United States, uh, as, 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 um, specifically if you have uh, cancer or some kind of something like that. Um, 
then they, they will give you prescriptions to, to do that. So that's, that's pretty wild. I, I think, and that, that was kind of the climax of the whole movie. It was really a slow sort of, but that's what says one. Uh, and, and then finally the climax where, was where this guy who had cancer, his, his buddy, um, commit suicide and he helped him commit suicide. Nick and Norris Infinite Playlist. Um, you know, if you get into music, it's okay. It's not an award winning movie. You know, it, it's interesting. Um, they have the, they have, they go through this whole scenario thing, you know, in, in one night or one weekend or something like that. And, um, and these kids fall in love, blah, blah, blah. And, um, they come up, well, the girl, her, her dad is a major, uh, music producer and and then the 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 guy that becomes a boyfriend um, is all is a musician and and uh, it's it's a match made in heaven. Okay, fine, whatever. So anyhow, a triple frontier. So, oh oh, these guys, these military. Um, and this this movie came out this year uh, with uh, Ben Affleck, Oscar Isaac. Charlie Hunnam, Hunnam uh, Garrett Hun- H- Hedlund, and Pedro Pascal. I, I believe Garrett H- H- Hedlund has a brother. I can't remember what his, his name is, but um, I think his brother is also an actor. But anyhow, Triple Frontier, the, you know, the, these veterans, they, they, they go out and, and um, you know, they take bullets for, for the United States and and they almost get killed here and then, blah, 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 and they get out. And then they have nothing to show for that uh, and nowhere to go. And, and they're, they're not making hardly any money. So, so all of a sudden they find this, this cartel, drug cartel, and he has all this money. And so they decide to go get some money for himself and take, take care of the cartel himself. And it, it was cheesy. I, 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 I gave it a, a thumbs down because it was just lame. It was just the, no inspiration, hardly any any inspiration at all, and no sense of productivity or creativity. Now the the land there was now that was one thing that was interesting about it. There there was a lot of um, nature, a lot of uh, uh, landscape shots. That would have been a good movie to watch in, in the in the big big screen theater because. You know, they show the Andes, the Alps, or whatever, and, and all this landscape that was just amazing, just awesome landscape. That was probably the best part of the movie, but that's another point. Anyhow, um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Again, there's, there's some shifting that are, that's happening, and um, with Uranus and Taurus now for the next seven years or so, and you, you are, you, you'll see it, you'll notice it, you'll probably feel it, you'll experience it, and, but, but just know that, 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 um, number one, don't argue about the earth, if, if you, if you are, you know, doing manual labor type of stuff, or maybe, maybe either you get another job or doing something else, or, just do it differently or just appreciate it in the way it is meant to be appreciated, whatever stuff. So Taurus is a very grounding energy, an earth earth energy and um stubborn energy. So um and it has to do with a lot of manual labor stuff. So there's gonna be a lot of shifting around with manual labor uh jobs going on in the next several years. And the peak of it being um twenty twenty one maybe uh around of February 2022, and you see what I'm talking about. There's gonna be some major, major stuff going on there. And then, uh, in, May, in 2022, with Uranus and Taurus. So, um, just, just, just breathe. Be still. Know that you are God, God is. That's, that's the point. And again, uh, maybe my Treya, again, I, my, my Treya Buddha, I, I request that you come forward, you and the masters, Come forward now um, and, and make yourself known. Um, I request, we request that you come forward and 
start assisting us and guiding us and supporting us um, more in depth than you have been already uh, and deeper and and better than, than you have been already. No offense, Sergeant Virgo, but it's time. It's time to make yourself known. Thank you very much. Aloha. Have a God-Goddess weekend. He's the love that you are, always have been, and always will be. Aloha.